Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone. But Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Can Angel and Alistair scare each other to where they scream? Uh, all I have to do is pull down my pants. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, has been hotel theories. Take a close look at Alistair's face, right? Nothing too different. As you can see, there are no bags underneath his eyes. Keep this in mind. But after he fucking wrecks Serpentius, he actually does have bags underneath his eyes. My theory is that whenever Alistair uses his powers, it can actually drain his energy to the point where he could very well get extremely hurt. Alistair is the type of overlord that would not like and not allow others to see him as weaker or see him as someone who would have any weaknesses. It would make a lot of sense for him to hold himself back and basically not let himself get to the point where, if he used enough energy, he could actually seem weak, tired, etc. Which makes sense as to why Serpentius is still alive at the end instead of being dead. Alistair could have very well fucking killed him, but he didn't. Angel, get on top of the fridge! This house is a fucking nightmare! Please give me Huggy Wuggies! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what in God's name is wrong with you? This can go two ways, punk. One, you walk away. Two, I walk on your face. What is it now, Daddy? Oh. <laughs> <Just> really? <laughs> Taking the picture Pounces on you, ooh, you so warm Couldn't help but notice your boat from across the floor Nuzzles your necky wecky till day, Mertilde, hee hee Unzip your baggy ass pants of baby, you so musky Take me home